Hi, today I want to show you an issue with uh, Kali and Ethercap um, that no hosts can be scanned with Ethercap with the newest version of Kali. And uh, so here I have my VM, and I want to show you to reproduce the issue and show how to solve this. And um, so first we check on the version of uh, Kali. So this is the latest release of the time being of this uh, video, it's 2019.4 and um, the issue comes when, with uh, the version of libdcap provided by Kali. So let me scroll it a bit up. Here we have the version 191 installed and uh, this is where the issue started. So with the version 181 everything was working, with the version 191 the issue started. It has it's been, it's, uh, fixed meanwhile in Ethercap. The problem is that um, that the version that's delivered here is not the latest one and even the latest version 08.3 doesn't contain this fix. At the moment it's only available using the latest source code from GitHub or to wait for the next upcoming release uh, for the rate of 4, maybe. Okay, so let's try to reproduce the issue. Uh, so call it a cap in text mode, quiet with a script, calling commands, list and quit. And here we have the issue that it scans for hosts and says, okay, it has zero hosts added to the list. And if I would then combine this call with man in the middle are poisoning, uh, it would claim that it needs a non-empty host list, of course. Um, to get the round this, we need first to remove the distribution provided at a cap installation. For that, we search for anything at a cap using the app, so the package manager. Here we see that Etercap Common is installed and Etercap Graphical. We'll remove both. Um, ba -ba -ba. Etercap Common, Etercap Graphical. Okay, so it's removed. Um, we can uh, check if no things are left using find and on root for anything called lip adder cap. Okay, so nothing is found. That's good. Um, to install, uh, let's say, the compile adder cap from source, we need to have to, ma to meet some. Uh, dependencies for that uh, it's best to go to the website there's a example being shown to install it using apt-get and uh, luckily Kali is a Debian based system where we can use this command one to one There needs quite some things to be installed, so this will take a while. Okay, dependencies are now installed. Uh, now we need to get the latest source code from GitHub. We use Git for doing this. So the clone is to HTTP from HTTPS github.com Ethercap Ethercap will automatically clone into a directory called Ethercap so this will also take a while to download all the source okay, uh, source code is cloned into directory Ethercap 
go into that and then there we create a directory called build it can be called whatever you like and we change into this directory and we call then from there cmake uh, dot dot for the parent directory for let's say what I will always do is say it was any like v6 v6 support from parent directory okay, but you can even omit the IPv6 support okay so then we need to compile using make okay compiled successful and then we need to install it using make install okay let's see which version we have now at a cap Dash dash version. Okay, now this is something that because this terminal uh, expect the adder cap because we executed it before and it was in user bin. Now it's in user local bin. We need to close this terminal one time, open another one, and then we call again adder cap dash dash version. There we go. So now we are in 083. And uh, we do now the same command at a cap uh, tqslq. And there we go, there we have a non empty hosts list. If you, for whatever reason, follow this instruction one to one and still have the same issue, it would be great if you could recompile at a cap in debug mode that we are able to further debug the issue. For that you need to back, go back into Adacap build directory, call again cmake and now you provide the dash d cmake build type equals debug. So this enables the debug output, then the parent directory and make again and after that make install again. And when you then do the same, so we'll try to reproduce. And after you have reproduced, you will find a file in your directory where you executed that's called adacap 083 debug.log. So this is the information that we will need in a case, and you're best off also providing the parameter dash w, which um, yeah, captures all the packets at a cap sees in a file that you have to specify. For example, at a cap packets dot pcap. And so in this way, you will have then two files: once the the packets that at a cap has seen, and also the debug output log file. And this would help us a lot in further debugging the issue if you if this um, instruction didn't help yeah but i'm pretty sure that we fixed the issue in the latest code on github you, that you face with kali and probably also other distributions that will follow installing and providing the newest version of flip pcap um, it will the fix will at, at minimum um, be included in the next upcoming version 084 um, or any other version number that we may think of yeah but at least this should be provide you some some work around in between um, yeah and hope that this helped you and uh, yeah watch out for new videos and as always take care and bye